Find the values of k for which the line kx minus 2y plus 13 is equal to 0 is a tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 13. For these values of k, find the coordinates where the line meets the circle. So what we want is this line to be a tangent to this circle. So we just look at this g-algebra f to begin with. And if we move our value of k, we will see that we'll get one value here such that it, that is the tangent. And then if we move it back this way, we will see there'll be another value of k where the line is a tangent as well. So what we're going to do is to, what we're going to do is find those two values of k. So this applet I'll put in the notes of the video as well so you can pr play around with it. So what we've got to do, so we've got a line kx minus 2y plus 13 is equal to 0. So we've got a circle which is x squared plus y squared is equal to 13. So if we rearrange the line to make y the subject, so we get kx plus 13 is equal to 2y, y is equal to kx plus 13 over 2. And what we do is we substitute that into the circle instead of y. And we get x squared plus kx plus 13 over 2 squared is equal to 13. So we get x squared. If we expand this, we get k squared x squared plus 26kx plus 139. Expanding this, and um, 2 squared is 4. That's still equal to 13. Multiplying by 4, we're going to get 4x squared plus kx times x squared plus 26k x plus 169 is equal to 52 so we've got a coefficient here of 4 plus k squared x squared and then b will be 26 k x and then we need to take 52 and we're going to get 100 plus 117 is equal to 0 we're going to call that equation 1 now if we look at the discriminant of that equation so we've got ax squared plus bx plus c for the line to be a tangent b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So b is 26k. So we're going to form an equation in k here. So you get 26k all squared minus 4 times my value of a, which is 4 plus k squared times 717, which is equal to 0. If we uh, square that, we're going to get 676k squared minus 4 times 4 times 117 is minus 100, 1872 minus 4 times k squared times 117 is 468k. That's still equal to 0. Uh, collecting these two together, you're going to get 208k squared minus 1872 is equal to 0. Now, these are actually divisible by 208. So you get k squared minus 9 is equal to 0. So k plus 3, k minus 3 is equal to 0. So you're going to get the values of k can be plus or minus 3. And that was shown in the applet as well. So for these values of k, we've now got to put them in here to find the value of x where they line and the uh, circle intercept. And then when we've got the x coordinate, we can put it into the y coordinate y into this to find the y coordinate so substitute for k is equal to minus 3 into 1 this was equation 1 so now replacing k with minus 3 so you got k plus minus 3 all squared x squared plus 26 times minus 3 times x plus 117 is equal to 0 so this comes to uh, 4 plus 9 which is 13 x squared uh, 26 times minus 3 is 78x plus 117 is equal to 0. All divisible by 13, so we get x squared minus 6x plus 6 is equal to 0, which factorizes into x minus 3 squared is equal to 0, which gives me a repeated solution of x is equal to 3. Now, we expected a repeated root because this is the case where it is a tangent. To find the y-coordinate, we'll put it into the line. So y was kx plus 13 over 2. So we need to take that value of k minus 3 times my value of x, which is 3, plus 13 over 2, which gives 2. So in that case, the line and the circle intercept at 3, 2. And then we substitute k is equal to 3 into this. 
So you get 4 plus k squared x squared plus 26k plus 117 is equal to 0. Similar sort of thing. Three, 4 plus 3 squared x squared plus 26 times 3x plus 117. So that gives you 13x squared minus 78x plus 117. All divisible by 13. So it gets x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0, which gives you x plus 3 squared is equal to 0 which gives you x is equal to minus 3. So to find the y-coordinate, so it's a repeated root, what we expected. To find the y-coordinate, we're going to put that into here. We're going to get y is kx plus 13 over 2, which is 3 times minus 3. So you have to take that value of k with that value of x plus 13. Again, it's going to give 2. So this time, it just sets up minus 3, 2. So if we look at the drawings of that, here's one case, minus 3, 2, it's a tangent. Here is a second case, 3, 2, which is the tangent. Like I said, I'll put the GeoGebra Appler as a link in the notes of the video. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.